Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Teresa. Today we're going to make DIY high-end accent pieces for your home decor. The items we're going to be using are this Pringles canister, Tootsie Roll canister, these plastic horses from the Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree beads. We'll be using these large gems. I purchased these from Michaels. You'll need some type of foam to sit inside your canister. We'll be using these curtain rings. We'll be using these plastic stems. These are when you purchase like uh, plastic flowers from the Dollar Tree and you pull them off, you're left with this. We're going to be using these. Spray paint, I'm using gold and white. We'll be using white and gold paper. I purchased per both of these from Michaels. You'll need your scissors and your glue gun, so let's get started. Now the first thing we want to do is spray paint our Dollar Tree horses, our stems, and our curtain rings so that what you have, your horses, your stems, and I didn't spray paint all the way to the end because of the stems, they're not going to be seen, and curtain rings. Now we're going to create the accent piece that goes into the large canister using your stems and Dollar Tree beads. Now I'm going to slightly bend the stems. You don't have to if you don't want to. And then I'm going to glue on the beads. Now for this DIY, I used eight of these stems. You don't have to use that many if you don't want to. Now we're going to make the accent piece with the large diamond in the middle using your Tootsie Roll containers. The first thing you want to do is trim off the excess white edge around this container so that it looks like this. Nice and smooth. Pop your top in. And then you're going to take another Tootsie Roll container, cut it in half. This will be the smaller piece to your accent piece and it looks like this. Now we're going to cover our canisters with our gold and white paper. You're going to cut out strips of your gold paper. You're also going to cut out a small circular disc to go on top of your small canister. I want to let you know that the white paper has a shiny surface to it. So now we're just going to glue on our gold and white paper onto our canister.
Now we're going to put together the diamond piece that sits on top of this canister. You're going to use four curtain rings and one large gem. We're just going to add some glue and glue these together. You're going to cover the large canister the same manner that you did the small canisters with the exception being the gold strips will be wider. Now we're going to put together the horse statues using the same diamond in the rings technique we used for the canister. The exception being we're going to add a diamond to the back of the rings. The reason why we're doing that is because the diamond is rather heavy and the rings will tilt forward so we just add a diamond to the back also and I wanted the horse to be attached to the ring like this if you notice there's a gap here so I added an extender I just glued together some old gold beads glued it to the hoof and then glued it onto the rings so that it looks like this and you can see the extender. Now I want to show you what the stems with the beads look like once you finish them. Put them into the foam and then you'll just pop them into your large canister just like that. Now I'm going to put this together, come back and I'll show you the entire DIY. Mm -hmm. 